everybody? It's Greg Peters with the Car Passion Channel. And if 12 years. 12 years you've been making these videos and you covered the microphone with your thumb. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I filmed this, if you couldn't tell by my hair growth, but I'm gonna try to remember what I said here. What's up everybody? It's Greg Peters with the Car Passion Channel here. And for those of you who've been following my Instagram, you already know what I'm about to tell you. But for those of you who haven't, I did something to the NB. That's right, the NB is now Rotrex supercharged. I will get into some of the details on this kit, the install and everything else later in the video. But for right now, I just wanna take it for the first drive. So let's go. Okay, first drive with the Rotrex. I did drive a few blocks away from my house, but at like 1% throttle, made sure not to get into any boost. This is gonna be like the start of the actual first drive. Uh, the noises are cool so far. You're really not gonna be able to hear much. I don't have any of my mics hooked up. This is just GoPro audio, but I wanted to get something filmed on my first drive in case anything cool happens and just kind of to see my reaction, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's like weird to film my own reaction to stuff still. But yeah, let's take the Rotrex NB for a little cruise. First drive, relatively uneventful. Can confirm the car does have more power. I only revved it to maybe about 5,000. And as you may or may not know, nature of the Rotrex is it's gonna build horsepower all the way to redline. So you're gonna make peak horsepower at redline, less horsepower, everything below redline. So it's a very, it's a very much, it is very much a high RPM power band type of mod but it's great for the stock engine. Anyways, I'm not gonna get into a bunch of details right now. I just wanna drive a little bit more. I'm out here to do some street tuning, get the fuel map dialed in. It is way, 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 way too rich. And I took a complete guess on the fuel map, but better to be too rich than too lean. So I'm just gonna go continue doing some street tuning. Just checking the log here and max boost on the way here was 155 KPA, which is just under eight PSI. So yeah, like I said, I, I felt the power but I didn't feel all the power. So I'm gonna take it out right now, get into a little more RPM now that I have my fuel map a little bit more dialed in. Um, yeah, see how it feels. I hope you guys can hear some of those noises. Got into some power that time, got into some RPM. Definitely feels good, quick, uh, but running way too rich still. It's better. It was like nines AFR before. Now that was like tens. And I'm also running what I believe is really conservative ignition timing. From what I hear, you can run quite a bit more or at least somewhat more ignition timing on a Rotrex or a supercharged kit in general versus a turbo because you don't have the restriction in the exhaust. When you have a really restrictive turbocharger, you have to limit your ignition advance more because you're building a lot of heat in the exhaust. It becomes more prone to detonation. So really conservative ignition timing. 
but I'm gonna continue getting the fuel map more dialed in, and then I'll do a couple of virtual dyno pulls, take the car home, and kind of see how it looks. Here's that virtual dyno, 207 horsepower, not too bad. I feel like I might've got a little blip of wheel speed where that uh, peak is. But one thing I want to show you is how the Rotrack Supercharger builds boost linearly. You can see down at 2200 RPM, it makes about one and a half pounds of boost. And then up at Redline is making just under 14 pounds of boost. So according to virtual dyno, over 200 wheel horsepower already on what I consider to be conservative ignition timing, but I'll wait till I get on the dyno to really start to crank this thing up. Anyways, back to the video. brings a tear to my eye. This, this is how fast Miata should be from the factory. This is perfect. Good times, another Miata boosted. And um, so far I am extremely happy with this. We'll see what it does on the dyno at Advanced Engine Dynamics. But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. So what I've learned after the last few weeks of posting road tracks related stuff on my Instagram is people have a lot of questions about this kit. So if you have questions about road tracks supercharging in Miata, drop them down in the comments below. And in the next video I do about the supercharged NB, I'll try to get to as many of those questions as possible. Now keep in mind, I just installed a road tracks kit for the first time ever, and I've only had the kit on my car for a few weeks, but I feel like I've learned a lot already. So I might be able to help some of you out there with curiosity about this kit. Now the next supercharged Miata video is going to be dyno tuning at Advanced Engine Dynamics, and I'll also dive into the kit, the components, and the characteristics a little bit closer, as well as hopefully cranking up that horsepower. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.